Ty, what is that? It's exhaust, dude. For what? For things, dude. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Got a what? thing. No, what is this? Surprise, dude. What? Surprise. What the hell is it, though? What's really going on here? Is that a project car? Maybe. Hopefully not. Who's gonna fix it? You. Are you gonna me? Yeah. That's not my project car. This is your project car. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Hell? It's not a 300ZX. Is it a 300ZX? I hope not. It has 300ZX wheels on it. I hope not. Are those real? Those aren't mine. I don't get to keep them. You don't get to keep them. I mean, if I want to buy them, I can, but I don't get to keep them. Do you get to roll around on them? No. Room? I gotta get. We, we I gotta take them go. off right now. Now when we get back, I gotta take them off. So we look at it. Here, peel it up. Peel this off. Let's see what's what's really going on here. Oh, dick. What is that? Holy shit, bud. Well, there's no room in the shop. I don't know if it'll fit out. I mean, is it gonna be okay sitting outside without the top on it? No. Are you sure? You have to make room. Get rid of all your shelves. Well, we can't stack too much shit on this thing. <laughs> there's not enough room. This is the best part, though. You ready for it? What's the best, oh fuck, what's it, LS? Does it have an LS in it? Oh, son of a bitch. And what, does that, was that an intercooler pipe? Yeah, it was. What happened? Blow it up. Oh, Ty, look at you. How's it feel, dude? I think no responsibility for anything that happened to you. <laughs> Just say. Do you want me to steer it on there? To the right a little? Go to the left. Or a little bit more left. Up. Let it go. go. First try is a charm. How, uh, how was that? How was it being able to, bad. to mob it? I mean, when it only weighs like 1,500 pounds, it's not bad. Let's put yeah. a 2J in it. How about uh, that? No. You'll never regret it. I'll never regret it, but I don't have the money for it. <laughs> 2J is where to, where be. it's at. The ATI motor is not that expensive. Well, it's not It's not the motor. It's the whole, it's the swap stuff. Yeah. It'd, be way, it'd be like half the price to go LS. Yeah. We got four LS. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. So did you tear into this engine or did you? No, that's how we got it. Okay. And that was in the there? The head is loose, but I didn't pull it apart because he just decided to sell it instead of keep it, so. Nice. Literally it is as we pulled it out of the uh, storage unit. And you guys bought it? And yeah. it was turboed and blown up or? So I guess Mike had blown or turboed it. Um, he originally owned the car back in the day. Turbo six years ago? I guess. Now, I guess the kid he bought it from was a real idiot. <laughs> like, just mechanically uninclined. Yeah. Um, so, the guy said he was having problems, but I don't know what problems he was having. Uh, he took it to a mechanic. Lower down a little bit. Had, quote unquote, blow by. Huh. So, see how far I can get it in there. Yeah. It'll slide in there too. Yeah, I just want to hit the glass. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna lower it a little bit, so watch your toes, buddy. I'm getting in. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Well shit. Here it is. In its final resting place. For how many how many months years? How many years do you think? That's gonna be resting? Yeah. How many how many years do you think it's been chill here for? Hopefully no years. No years? Hopefully. Months? Just months. Yeah. So what's what's the ETA? ETA on completion. Uh, depends on the motor, but I mean, if the motor's not too dicked, I'd like to have it back on the road in like spring. So I don't know, is that like eight months? Spring? Well, I don't eight know. months? Not in a fucking hurry. It's Holy a shit, dude. Vehicle. I did a whole Evo in like five. Whole Evo. Yeah, but you're also here eight hours a fucking day. I get shit done too. Yeah, what do you do? Done. What do you do all day? Fucking work. Air conditioned building. Oh, doing what? Pushing pencils? Pushing numbers. Oh, son of a bitch.
But yeah, I guess it has the the rear bumper, the seats, the mirrors, the headlights. You get headlights? Yeah, it's got Okay, headlights, headlights front bumper, a um, bunch of other little knickknacks and stuff that are supposed to go with it. Um, we picked it up from some guy's house who this other guy is uh, had to do some work, you know, transport it and, you know, trade some parts because he has another one that's turboed. Um, and I guess he's over in Afghanistan right now. He's in Iraq. So we need to go get the, the stuff from his uh, from his wife, you know, for the rest of this stuff. But uh, but yeah, and these these wheels, they, those don't come those don't come with it. No. Unless you want to buy them. No, he wants to keep them. Oh, but because those almost those almost like yeah, it they're, almost they're, needs it. They're dope, but they're also expensive. Them 300 ZX wheels though, holy shit. So we're messing with the, we'll pop the head off of the S2000 engine, the, what are these things, F22C? Yeah, AP2. So, yeah, anyhow, pulled it off. So, like we said, it the, the guy pulled it off because it had blow-by, low compression, and, you know, either one or multiple cylinders. Didn't really get a full 100% story on it. Didn't really look like they pulled the head off of it, huh? I had to start to, but never really got to it. But... And so come over here. I was like, "Oh shit, that one's perfect." This one right there looks like probably popped a ring land and scuffed in there. Same thing with that. And you get over here, and then you got that. I mean, look at look at the look at the depth onto that. I mean, that's just not no no damn scratch. And I guess these things have a, a different coating or something on the inside of them, or and nobody really has. I guess they don't have too good a luck with boring them out too far. But so this one was, would either would probably have to be sleeved, and uh, you know, or just find another block. But I guess it kind of depends on on what uh, what Ty wants to do with the son of a bitch. I don't know if you wanna if you wanna go with like the fully build, like you know, thousand horsepower S two thousand, or if you just wanna like well, smash I, I, a stock son of a like, smash a stock one back in there and just call it call well, it a day. So like a, a stock block will hold like eight hundred horsepower, yeah, kind of fresh, but. A built inline pro short block is like three grand. Yeah. That's like sleed, pistons, rods, but it's like three grand. Yeah, so bad. I mean I was wanting to just put it back together pretty cheap, but Yeah, just kinda get it running yeah. again and then Yeah, just get it running and then maybe like go from there. But I mean so now I have the option of it's already kinda out and apart and Yeah. So, so you like, like do I build it a little bit or do I just maybe freshen it up stock yeah like, kind of like what i went through with the evo i had it out and i yeah. was like well shit i could just smash it back together stock or i could just you know i could just put some monies into it so yeah exactly so huh. i mean i'll post online and see if maybe i can find like a short block or something for a decent price if not i'll look into seeing how much sleeving it is and stuff and yeah too, so if anybody or... out there has a short block let me know <laughs> <laughs> or uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Put the dirty old LS in that son of a bitch. Well, I'll sell you mine, dude. Mine's for sale. I was gonna go the the two Js. Yeah. The two Js. Well, I have this other Honda block over here, dude. Do you think this D this <laughs> D seventeen will do any good in there? Probably not. Oh, that, yeah. they, how funny would that be, though? Like oh, open S two K and just pop the hood and it's like a D seventeen single okay. cam. <laughs> so as many of you guys told me uh, not to do on my my little Snapchat. I uh, posted a picture of this thing earlier and said, should I? And uh, they said uh, something, you know, needed a new engine or whatever. Um, they said they took it to a shop and they just told them it needed a new engine that had low compression or something like that. Um, I was watching some videos, you know, because that's how I learned how to learn pretty much how to do everything is the damn internet. But um, I was watching some videos on how to compression test them. And you have to take the regular compression tester and take the, take the, little, uh, the little valve out of it. So that you could basically get, because there's three rotors per rotation. You know, there's three basically apex seals per rotation. So, need to uh, check those individually. Um, so what you're, I guess, what you're watching for is just to watch the needle just sit there and, and just go. You know, as long as it bumps even every single time, then you know, I guess your compression's pretty good. Blake, you're gonna go ahead and crank it over. So yeah, all those on that cylinder pretty much match the front cylinder. Um, so I'm not not quite sure what's up with the the whole uh, you know running kind of weird. Um, 
Well, I guess I should have showed you guys that a little bit, but once I put the spark plugs back in, we uh, I'll show you that. But I was almost assuming maybe like a, a clogged catalytic converter or something like that, you know, based on the way it's running and idling. Because, I mean, it kind of runs smooth almost, and then it kind of makes some noise, so maybe the catalytic converter's plugged. But we'll see the fuel pump fuse back in there. It seems like it runs. It smells really rich, you know. I don't know, maybe I have a stuck injector or something like that. There's no blow by. Um, there's a little little low on oil but I mean I know these things burn burn, burn oil anyhow there's a little bit of smoke right there but um, I don't know I guess if they run way way low on fuel I guess that can make them shudder a little bit so maybe I'll, I'll grab some fuel in it real quick. All right, so I just drove it to go get some uh, some fuel in it I come back I hope you guys get to see that so I don't know if the light will I'll let you pick it up but the but the catalytic converter was kind of glowing orange towards the, the back of it. So maybe that's, maybe it's, and I mean, it kind of sounds like something's tinkering in there. So maybe I'll pop off that exhaust and see if it'll, see if it'll run any smoother. I disconnected the exhaust because the cat was doing that, or it was getting all red. And it seemed like it helped it a bit, but I mean, it's still doing, you guys can hear this. So you can hear it misfiring right now. Come on. See this? See that? See it runs good and then when it's running like crap it, it's not firing. See that? So yeah, basically what, uh, you know, using the timing light does is it, uh, you know, on older, old school, you know, for those of you guys who know what the timing light does, but for uh, old school stuff, or, you know, if you're trying to check the actual base timing on the engine, there's like this little dial right here, and that's how many degrees you kind of set it to, and then you, you put, you know, positive and negative on the battery, and then you hook up one of these, this little clamp thing around the plug wire, that you know normally number one if you want to check the timing and then there's normally a little mark and as it goes around this will flash directly on that uh, on that mark but uh, so I was just using it I was doing some reading and I guess you hook up the timing light on there and if uh, when it misfires if it's not sparking at that you know at the same time then obviously you know there, there's, there's probably a bad coil or a bad signal going to the coil one, one or the other so I, I'm thinking that's that's what it is um, you know, specifically, it seems like that one was, was pretty bad. You know, the one who, that was causing it, the number one one. But uh, this little RX-8 here, I, uh, I was doing the, the little coil test or whatever with the test light. It wasn't firing, so I went ahead and got a different coil for it. Put that on, and now uh, check this shit out. So, took it for a drive and shit runs, runs pretty good, so happy that that's all I needed was a damn coil. I thought the engine had low compression or something was, was really bad with it, but I was probably going to do the ATF in the, in the uh, engine, you know, trick. We'll try that. Hell yeah, look at that. Just running like a champ now with the, with the exhaust all hooked up in it. Brand new. <laughs>